October 25th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Lamentations Chapter 5 from the Old Testament. O Lord, reflect on what has happened to us. Consider and look at our disgrace. Our inheritance is turned over to strangers. Foreigners now occupy our homes. We have become fatherless orphans. Our mothers have become widows. We must pay money for our own water. We must buy our own wood at a steep price. We are pursued. They are breathing down our necks. We are weary and have no rest. We have submitted to Egypt and Assyria in order to buy food to eat. Our forefathers sinned and are dead, but we suffer their punishment. Slaves rule over us. There is no one to rescue us from their power. At the risk of our lives, we get our food because robbers lurk in the countryside. Our skin is hot as an oven due to fever from hunger. They raped women in Zion, virgins in the towns of Judah. Princes were hung by their hands, elders were mistreated. The young men perform menial labor, boys stagger from their labor. The elders are gone from the city gate, the young men have stopped playing their music. Our hearts no longer have any joy, our dancing is turned to mourning. The crown has fallen from our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned. Because of this, our hearts are sick. Because of these things, we can hardly see through our tears. For wild animals are prowling over Mount Zion, which lies desolate. But you, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. Why do you keep on forgetting us? Why do you forsake us so long? Bring us back to yourself, O Lord, so that we may return to you. Renew our life as in days before, unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. God, it's a little bit funny that we think we can create that reconciliation. Uh, granted, there's things that we need to do. We need to repent of our sins, ask for forgiveness of those sins, um, be humble to you, be obedient to you. Uh, of course, we need to do those things. But ultimately, just like our salvation, it is up to you uh, if that reconciliation takes place. And the reconciliation is about you uh, much more than us. And even though in this particular chapter in Lamentations, uh, the writer is crying out about themselves, there's still this humbleness of you have every right, God, to be angry at us. You have every right to punish us because we messed up. Um, and so when you're ready to reconcile, please let us know. I just kind of hope it's not forever. <laughs> and I've said similar words uh, to you in the past as well. The reconciliation comes from you because you are sovereign over everything that you have made. Uh, in Second Corinthians, you talk about uh, all this is from God who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. And I love this because the reconciliation uh, that happens with your people back in the Old Testament that we're currently reading in Lamentations was ultimately for your glory. Initially, people said, oh, why would your God do that to you? Uh, so initially, it kind of looked bad, but you're a God of, of totality, of <laughs> the big plan. And ultimately, it was for your glory. You, you took them uh, into exile into Babylon you took care of them while they were in Babylon and then you brought the remnant back and you took care of them just like you do with us and then you destroyed Babylon for taking part in what happened to your people so through that process again what happened you were glorified and I think what we don't get is ultimately everything happens for your glory it is all about you and us in our selfish worlds I think it's really all about us and, and it's not so when we are reconciled with you when you accept our repentance and forgive our sins 
through your son Jesus Christ and your anger is dissolved against us, that reconciliation has nothing to do with us, even though I'm incredibly thankful for that. It has to do with how that reflects from my life to other people so that they can be reconciled with you as well. We miss so often, again, because we're so self-focused people, we miss so often why you do things. We, we, well, I can only speak for me. So often I think it's all about me. Things happen for good or for bad because of me and um, you're doing these things for me. We forget that that is not the point at all. The point is your reflection from my life. And if I am being obedient to you and I'm reconciled to you and I'm growing my relationship with you and I'm, I'm humbling myself before you, that reflection to other people speaks volumes about who you are. It glorifies you. If, if my life doesn't match up to my words that I'm saying as a Christian, that also reflects you uh, and not in a good way. It's where that hypocritical Christian idea comes from uh, in this world. So God, first and foremost, I thank you for reconciling us to you through your son, Jesus Christ. I can never thank you enough for that, nor will I understand the sovereignty of that, how big that truly is. But I do know that that's what allows a relationship between you and I to happen. I also thank you tremendously that when I choose sin over you, that there is a process of reconciliation that occurs each and every time. There's nothing amazingly that I can do that would stop you from loving me which is baffling, but I do know what the Bible says and I do know it's true. That that process of repentance of my sins and the forgiveness through your son, Jesus Christ, is one of the things, one of the incredible gifts and blessings that you've offered to me as one of your children. That reconciliation also plays a part in not only glorifying you, but our reconciliation with other people. If we are Christians and we have relationships that are broken, that doesn't reflect very well about who we are as Christians. We're supposed to love everyone. And it doesn't mean that all relationships are supposed to be people who are together. Sometimes the other person in that situation is so caustic uh, that there can't be a healthy relationship, but there can still be reconciliation in the form of of forgiveness and, and moving on. And again, the same thing um, in Second Corinthians, we are the ambassadors of that. We reflect what that message looks like for good or for bad. And that message is all about you. So God, today, I, I pray for two things. I pray that we're intentional in understanding that it is your will to be reconciled with us. That even though you punish us out of love and Dis discipline us out of love that you always seek and are persistent about a relationship with us and in that same process God I pray for the reconciliations that need to take place the forgiveness in people's hearts for broken relationships whether they be parent children um, husband wife uh, friends other family situations co-workers that that forgiveness process will start and if they are to be reconciled um, to continue the relationship together, God, then please allow your will to take place in that relationship. Uh, if they are to forgive each other and move on, allow those steps to start happening. Allow that healing to start happening today in both of their hearts um, that are very hardened right now. That's why the lack of reconciliation occurs in, in relationships. God, I, I truly am in awe that you are so persistent in continually seeking a relationship with us when we mess up so bad, just like the writer of Lamentations. Yeah, we messed up. We did all these things and we totally deserve all these punishments. I am baffled that you still want to reconcile with us and want to have a relationship with us. And then on top of it, allow us to be vocal your ambassadors about your word to others. God, I, it's a love I will never understand, but it's a love that I truly thank you for. 
In your son's name I pray. Amen.